all right it's nice to have you back welcome back to canary island it's me ben how are you doing you're doing good excellent last time you're with me we played millsborough but let's have a little look through on what's happened since then so we got off to a, a flyer an absolute flyer we played against walsall uh, we scored the first they made a bit of a defensive error and i thought oh, that's it that's going to set the tone cameron jerome scored. we played a fully rotated team in this game but no darren russell ex canary popped up got an equalizer 90 second minute but luckily for us uh Gabon is just an absolute monster. Grabbin, sorry, he is an absolute monster. Finished it off 2-1 into the next game against Brighton. The, the, you know, morale was pretty high, but we brought back the first team. Uh, we, they get off to a good start, actually. They scored the first goal. Poor Coates with the goal. But it didn't last very long. Once again, Grabbin goes through, scores the goal. 1-1, second goal of the game. It's looking nice. And then we win the ball back, high up the pitch. This is a theme of our play. You'll see a goal coming up, which is a great example of it. And a Johnny Housen in for the second. And then finally, an absolute screamer from that man, Bradley Johnson. I was raving about him last episode. And you should see him here. Look, gets on the edge, tees it up, bang, finish. What's, and he celebrates it with style as well. Uh, into the next game, Birmingham. Nathan Redmond gets us off to a, a good start, actually. What a messy goal this is, though. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, dearie me. Uh, I think it's Redmond gets the goal against his former club. So it's always nice to see that happen. I think Graben scores later against Bournemouth, too, which is uh, the same thing happening. Second goal of the game, Elliot Bennett. So that put us 2 0 up, and we were cruising, frankly. But things got a little bit testy. They scored, and I was thinking, oh, no, that's Doffy scored for them, and then Erdley. And that made it 2-2, and that's how it finished. So, disappointing, really. On to Sheffield Wednesday, though. We were up against uh, old Norwich boy, Luciano Becchio. The first goal, chipped through. Cameron Jerome runs onto it. Superb finish. So, that makes it that makes it 1-0. Then Michael Turner scores a penalty. I'm not quite sure why he's on penalties. And things are looking good. Once again, look, winning the ball back. This is what I was talking about. And then we, we work it really, really nicely, in fact. Plays it through. I think the first shot is saved. Yeah, but the second, on the rebound... Uh, finished off nicely, obviously grabbing again. And then Luciano Becchio scores a header near post OP. And that gives them a little consolation. Uh, into the next game, obviously playing against Bournemouth. Grabbing against his old club, scores the first to make it 1 0 to Norwich. I guess his former club doesn't celebrate, you know, respectful. Uh, but then he scores another one, so not that respectful. But then they get a penalty. Ian Hart steps up with a penalty. Uh, Ryan Bennett with a foul. And then finally, Basong nods it in. Let's go on to. The, uh, the next round of matches, shall we? Derby. So then, you got a little look at what happened in the games that you missed. Uh, and the table is looking like this. So we're top of the league. Six wins, one draw, one loss. The loss coming early in the season against Fulham. Uh, Lewis Graben is playing out of his skin. Ex-Norwich boy, Simeon Jackson, and a friend of the show, friend of Jake Caves, Adam LaFondra, is also up there. So it's looking good. Those three strikers are, are romping it in the championship as we speak. If we take a quick look at the transfers that happened, I mentioned I might try and sell Basong. It didn't happen. I ended up not bringing anybody in, uh, but I did send off uh, Javier Garrido. I didn't really need him. If you look at the squad, look. Uh, oh, hang on. This is the wrong <sighs> preparation, Ben. Come on. So if you look at it in terms of left backs, we've got Olsen that can play there. Um, we've also got Basong who can play there. Whitaker can play there. So we've got enough cover in that area that I wasn't worried about if one of them got injured. We could switch it around, change the formation slightly, and it'd be fine. And that was the hope. Anyway, enough about that. We've got a, uh, a League Cup tie against Burn, uh, Berry, Ber Burnley or Berry, neither Ben, Derby, <laughs> against Derby to come. Uh, I think this will be the game we play and then we'll play Ipswich in about four games times and that'll be Friday's episode. So look forward to Friday's episode. The Old Farm Derby. Uh, we'll click through. But it's going quite well. I'm surprisingly happy. Like, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised because although Norwich should be winning most games in this league, you do worry um, Andrew Sermon's upset. Shall we have a chat? No, we'll, just let, we'll let him suffer. Um, I, I'm harsh like that. I don't like to faff around. I'm not here to faff around. So, the team of the week. Housen and Graben getting in there. I have been deploying Graben on the right. Um, the, the formation and shape hasn't changed a bit, really. We did bring Housen in instead of Houlihan for a couple of games. He's just a little bit more... He has a bit more legs, and he seems to be creative enough that he doesn't suffer from having a lack of flair. Um, whereas Houlihan possesses a little bit more flair, but he's just... There's something about Wes Hulahan that I'm not a massive fan of. And Johnny Housen's a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more forthright. And that's what I like about it. So, let's see if we can go on a little bit of a cup run. That'd be a fun little side to the uh, the league campaign, won't it? Bradley Johnson, do we bring him in for this game? I think we probably do. I'm going to take it quite seriously. Against Derby, I kind of want to keep the morale going. Keep things happening. You'll notice Basong stayed. Um, it, was, it was weird. I had offers for him and Bennett. And I thought, well, rather than sell them... I'll see how we get on in January. If we're looking for promotion, I'll keep them in because they'll be both really good players for next year. Uh, but 
if I sell them, I wasn't planning to bring anyone in and I didn't want to be left short. The, the window was running down and I don't want to make that mistake. Oh, anyway, I see that we're in a 3D here. So we'll change it up because we've got rules here, Ben. You can't mess with the dynamics of a Football Manager video. Don't you even dare. So here we are. We're, we're settling into the game nicely. Uh, this is always one of those pointless highlights at the start of the game. I'm not really sure where they do these. I'd quite like it, FM, if you could remove them next year because we don't need them. I'd rather just have key highlights because this isn't a key highlight unless of course we score and you're intending to make me look very daft in front of my subscribers. I'm, I'm almost hoping that this goes out for some sort of goal kick. Oh, Halston on the edge. Well wide. See, pointless. Absolutely pointless. <laughs> okay. Oh, hang on. Let's get the match stats up. They're important too. I'm, I'm really enjoying the save though actually. Obviously playing most of the games off stream you get to look a little bit more in depth than what's going on. And I will show you that if that's the sort of thing you want. Please leave a comment if, you, if there's more things you'd like to see in the videos. Um, I just like to get into the action. I'm all about the action. But I will be doing sort of transfer specific videos when January comes around. And I think that might be offside. But no, they're giving it. They're giving it. And Graben grabs another one. That's going to get really, really boring really, really quickly. But I'm going to keep saying it because why not? He's an absolute star. He really is. Came from Bournemouth in real life. Uh, and he's proving to be a very valuable addition in this save that seems a little bit offside to me but we won't argue with it we won't argue with the gods of fm it's not my place <laughs> oh it's going well. oh corner elliot bennett swinging it in by song front post and he's kind of just bundled it in i guess we'll see on the 3d replay Dabby without a shot on target they've not done anything in this game let's just click some of these on because with a new computer i can just just you know do whatever just add some more in a bit more information let's see does he just bundle it in or does he actually make good contact no no he bundles it in i was right 2-0 though so the cup campaign is going surprisingly well uh against walsall i did think i never like in fm saves gone by i've always struggled in the first round of cup games i don't know what it is even when i'm a big side we always struggle that's offside i won't be tricked this time game i can see a little assistant up here giving it uh, but no, I've always struggled against the lower league opposition and I, I worried that when Daryl Russell scored for Walsall that I was going to be a bit like, oh no, not this again. This is going to be embarrassing. But as soon as we made it through, I decided that I was going to play the cup match as the middle Wednesday game. Um, because, you know, that's when that's when cup matches are played, in the middle of the week. So that made sense, right? And then the next game we'll play against Ipswich in the old farm. That's hopefully Nor Norwich beat Ipswich in real life 1-0. So I'm hoping to replicate that or better it. I guess we'll wait and see. Come on then, Hendrick for them. I'm not sure if Derby are playing quite a rotated side. I don't want to check this in case. Well, it's relatively strong. Will Hughes, Chris Martin, and so on are playing, so it's not too weak. And as I slag off their team, I expect them to probably score now. Redmond, Bryson, Sutter. Is that Scott Sutter? Is that the Scott Sutter from, Swi like he came from Switzerland? But oh, hang on. Oh, and Dawkins has scored. I'll speak in too soon. I was slagging off the fact their team wasn't strong enough. And then Dawkins has popped up at the back post and scored. I may speed up these highlights just a tad. Yeah, we'll speed up a little bit. Ah, oh, this is annoying. So whose fault is this then? It looks like Turner makes a premature tackle. Is it Turner? No, it's Ryan Bennett makes a premature tackle. And Dawkins slips in around the back, which is a shame. But we're still holding the lead. And we're in possession. It's interesting. I've still not, I've still not like, meddled. I played control a couple of games. But it was the game against Birmingham. We were, if you saw the highlights, we were 2-0 up and then we, we threw away a 2-0 lead and I tried to control it after going 2-0 up. I didn't want to take the risk and, uh, and it bit me. So I've been put off playing control because it seems as if we work better on the counter because of our pace out wide. So if they score here, which they almost did, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to switch to counter for the second half and we'll see how it goes. Hmm. I'd like to win this. I'd quite like to have a little bit of a cup run. Although playing a big team would be quite exciting for the save, wouldn't it really? So it's a double-edged sword. I think on 70, we'll make a few changes. I think we'll take Johnny Housen out and bring Wazulahan in. Because as, as much as I don't like him, he is a creative outlet. We'll do this. Actually, do you know what? We won't bring Lafferty on. We'll bring in uh, Gary O'Neill for Bradley Johnson because I don't want him suspended for the league. Teddy can stay out there though because we've got enough versatility in that area. And we'll bring Cameron Jerome on. Oh, do you know what we'll do? We'll do what I like to do anyway. We'll bring Jerome on for uh, for Elliot Bennett, and then I like to play Grabber out on the right. I just think having someone who can play there, not completely naturally, but well, and have the ability to finish, 
is quite important. It just, I don't know, it gives you that other option. You don't worry as much when he gets it out there. Because I see a lot of wingers just blaze shots over the bars, uh, over the bar when they get into those wide areas, and I don't want that to happen particularly. So if we can avoid that. Oh, Cameron Jerome nearly made me look very clever indeed. <laughs> but he didn't, so anti-climax. I could do without extra time. I'm never a fan of extra time, especially in these like early rounds of the cup because it impacts your squad. And because I've not rotated a lot, I'd just call out to get the win and then go into uh, the next few games. We also played Derby in the league just before the Ipswich game. So it'd be interesting to see if they play a stronger team or if they give us a bit more trouble in that game compared to this one. We'll have to wait and find out. But the game's winding down. It's looking pretty good. We've gone counter. They've got one more chance, but if we clear it, I think that could be game. And John Reddy makes the save. He was a bit dodgy in a couple of games earlier. But that leaves us in good shape. I'm happy with that. Very happy with it. We didn't rotate too much. We made a few little changes, but nothing major when we potentially could have done. But the important thing is to go through to the next round of the cup. Now, I'm, I'm going to see. Shall we... Ooh, is it before the Leeds game? Shall we go through to see who we're going to get? I can only assume it happens before the Leeds game. Let's find out. <laughs> the anti oh, the climax now of who we could potentially get in the cup. Let's find out. Come on. Hopefully it's beforehand. If it's not, I'm going to be a bit embarrassed. Uh, I'm just going to do this quick press, uh, press conference. Who's their weak link? Let's pick a former Norwich player. Where is he? Uh, Steve Morrison. What makes him... It might sound harsh, but I don't think he's cut for this level of football. Uh, I think they'll be disappointed. There we are. So hopefully... Please don't do it after the game. Do it before the game. Yes, there we go. Let's find out who we've got then. So we beat Derby. Um, let's see who's left in the draw. Oh, some big teams. Liverpool, United, City, Tottenham, Chelsea. Let's hope we can get like a Huddersfield. That'd be nice. <laughs> Although I'm not too hopeful. Oh, I'm doing this for the tension. Everton. Everton away. So that's going to be tricky. Everton away is not going to be an easy game at all. Um, so we'll see where that puts it in the fixture list. And if it's worked out well... Well, maybe we could do Ipswich and then Everton. We'll have to wait and see. Or if there's a big game coming up in the league, then we'll do that. But looking back at the league table, there's the update with that. Top of the league. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. From me, Dr Benji, have a wonderful day. Have a really good day. Bye. Bye.